Yeah, hello everyone. Yeah, and welcome back to a Spring and a Spring Boot annotation series. So today we will discuss about add the red scope annotation. So basically, in a Spring framework, scope annotation can be used to determine the scope of a bean. So scope of a bean means till where and till when the bean can be accessed. So the scope of a bean determines the life cycle and the visibility of a bean instances and these are managed by the spring IOC container. So basically there are like six type of scopes, singleton and the prototype, request, session and the global session and the application. So basically a singleton scope is the default scope and it means that only one instance of a bean will be created for the entire spring container and this will be managed by the spring IOC container and this is the default scope. So it means that if you are not marking with add the red scope annotation then by default spring IOC container is going to take the scope as a singleton. So basically this is like suitable for the stateless and a stateful bean that can be safely shared. It means that a single instance will be created by the spring IOC container and like whenever you will ask for the another instance of that particular bean then every time that single instance will be shared by the spring IOC container right so now coming to the prototype scope basically every time a new instance will be created whenever you will ask a spring IOC container for that bean instance so every time the spring IOC container will create a new instance so it is suitable for the stateful beans and when you want to control the life cycle of a bean explicitly right so to achieve this we use add the red scope and then there in the value we provide the name as a prototype right so by this we say spring IOC container that we want the scope as a prototype it means every time every request it will create a new instance for that particular bean right so the third scope is like request scope. So a new instance of a bean is created for each HTTP request. So this will be handled by the HTTP request. So every HTTP request it will create a new instance of that particular bean. And this is suitable for the stateful beans. Yep. And yep. And like this is uh, only valid for uh, the web aware spring applications. Right. So next is like session bean. So this is like similar to the HTTP request, but in this uh, new instance of a bean will be created for a HTTP session. So every time for each session, a new instance of a bean will be created. So like request scope, this is applicable in like web applications. So the fifth is like a global session scope. So in this like similar to the session scope, but use for the portlet web applications right so this is like similar to the session scope but in but we use the global scope in mostly in the portlet based uh, applications so the sixth scope is application scope and a single instance of a bean is created for each servlet context so in this uh, every time a single instance will be created for a servlet context right so these are the six type of beans so basically the the last four type that is request session global and application are only available for wave aware applications right so now we are going to see how we can implement this or how we can achieve this scope in our spring boot application right so here you can see i have created already a spring boot application where i have discussed uh, many many like annotations like uh, controller annotation component annotation and like lazy annotation and the repository and the service annotation and also the bean annotation yeah so today we are seeing about scope annotation so let me create quickly one package for the scope annotation so in this scope annotation let's create a java class uh, let's give a name as a singleton bean So this is a Java class and here let's create quickly the constructor of this singleton bean class and let's define some uh, SOP 
and here let's pass single ton all right so let mark this class as a component annotation with the component annotation so that we want to handle this bean by the spring IOC container so we have created one singleton bean class so now let's create one more uh, Java class inside scope package let's say the name will be prototype bean all right so let's quickly create the constructor of this prototype bean class and here similarly I will put some SOP prototype and let's mark this class with component annotation so that I want that spring IOC container should handle the bean creation for this prototype class now I have created a singleton bean class and the prototype class uh, for this so yeah so here I am going to show you about a singleton scope so to achieve this we can mark this with uh, at the rate scope annotation and then we need to provide the value and in the value you can directly provide a singleton or in the similar manner we have already uh, like configurable configurable bean factory and in this we have uh, the constant so you can see the singleton constant which is showing the value as a singleton so we can select this yeah so we have put the value as a singleton for this scope so yeah so similarly type uh, for the prototype let use the scope annotation and in the value let's provide configurable bean factory dot the prototype so we will make this prototype bean class scope as a prototype all right so you can see this has a prototype right yeah so now now we have to see how this works so let's go to the main class and here you can see already in the main method already I have a run method which is returning the context and the context variable contained the bean object for every component class which is defined in a spring and this is handled by the spring IOC container so let me ask with the spring uh, context to get the bean so for that we have a method get bean and in this we need to pass the class name so for getting the bean of a single turn bean class we need to pass this class with dot class let me import this class yeah so let's uh, store this to a singleton bean variable name okay so let's mark this as a singleton bean one so similarly I am going to get this instance this bean instance like three times let's change the name of this variable to three let's save this all right so here I am creating means asking the spring container to get the bean of this singleton bean class three times but you remember that this has a scope as a singleton and we have seen that for a single term for a singleton scope only a single instance will be created and every time whenever we, we will ask further then the spring IOC container is going to share that instance to others every time right it means that it is not going to create the instance again and again so let me show you okay so let's run this and here you can see in this constructor we have constructor which SOP singleton okay so we have started our application and let's see the output and let's understand how this works so here you can see that only one time constructor is executed for a singleton bean class we ask with the spring IOC container three times the bean but every time it has 
means means yeah so like it has provided a single instance that has been created first time because only a single time the constructor of this class is executed right so how to prove this so we can prove this by checking the hash code and we know that for every instance there will be a uh, different different hash code right if instance is different it means there will be a different different hash code value for that instance so i have created a 3 sop and that in that 3 sop i am using the hash code method to get the hash code of these three instances all right let me save this and let's run this again so by this uh, we will see what values we are getting for these three instance variables like single bean 1 single ton bean 2 and single ton bean 3 so here you will see that every time a uh, same hash code value is returned it means that these instance are not different different it is the single instance which are which are shared by the spring ioc container every time right yeah so, yeah so like this is all about a singleton scope it means a single instance will be created and that single instance will be shared every time by the spring ioc container right yeah so like this is the proof that a singleton scope will create a single instance and that will share every time right now let's move and check about the prototype so next scope we have defined inside our prototype bean class scope as a prototype now let's see how it works okay so for that in the similar manner let me get uh the bean of this prototype class prototype bean class let's store the instance into a prototype bean with the instance variable name as a prototype bean 1 so let me copy this three times one so i have uh, declare a uh, 1 2 3 for the prototype bean right now let's run this and now let's check how many times the constructor of this prototype bean class is getting executed in the constructor we have written a prototype uh, string so you can see that for these a three time constructor is executed and for single ton only one time constructor is executed it means that whenever we are asking ioc container the bean of this prototype bean class which is marked as an scope as prototype so every time a new instance is created by the ioc container and then it is providing us right because three times the constructor is created and we know that constructor executed when the new instance of the particular java class is created so how to prove this so so in the similar manner we can check the hash code right and we know that the every object has a different different hash codes So now let's check the hash code value of this all three instances. Let's change the name. Save this. Now let me run this. Okay. So with this we will come to know what are the values of this hash code for prototype bean one, prototype two, and three. so you will see the output then here you will see that every time we are getting a different different hash code it means and we know that every instance if it is unique then there will be a unique hash code right so it means that when we are using a prototype scope every time the spring container is going to create a new instance for that particular bean because these three has a different different hash code right yeah so like hence proved whenever we are going to use prototype every time the spring container is going to create a new instance right now let's move and see that we have discussed uh, and i have told you that by default the scope of the bean will be singleton right so let's move to the singleton bean class so here i have defined the scope right so let me comment it out so still if i will get only one like sop 
for the singleton class then it means that by default container is using the scope as a singleton okay so I have commented this now let's go and run this class now we will see how many times the constructor is getting executed because here you can see that I have used three times the bean okay I'm getting three times the singleton bean class but again you will see again only one time the constructor of the singleton bean class is executed okay it means that by default the scope the container is using as a singleton right yeah yeah so thank you and have a nice day